do, do, do. Um, hey, yeah, I'm Jeremiah. I am a poet. Um, ooh, scream one time for poetry. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. That was that was actually brilliant. Um, usually, like you're like, yeah, scream, and then the first one's like, uh, and then you're like, is that the best you can do? And then you get them to do it again. You lot have thrown my whole, you know, preamble out of whack because you were brilliant first time round. What is this? You're like that student in class who like delivers when you're like, what? Why are you talking? Have you done the work? What's the answer to the question I just asked? And they give you the right answer. And you're like, damn, <laughs> damn it. Now I just have to move on. I didn't get to shame you. Um, possibilities. I'm not here to waffle and talk about my childhood. Um, just got a little bit dark for no reason. Um, yeah, so uh, when I think of possibilities, uh, I think about who I want these possibilities for um, and who I kind of want to open up the world for and who I want to sort of see the world sort of become a better place for. Um, and so the kind of the first people that come to mind are my boys. Um, so I am from South London. Okay, okay, cool. Um, there's not many people from South London in the room because South London people are unruly. <laughs> when they step, like there'll be one person from South London and be like, Brrr! they'll just, just like, yeah, you're here. I feel you. Um, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, yeah, I gave my own brap. Um, but yeah, I think of, um, so we, you know, there's a term for your boys, your people, your brethren, your pals, your buddies, your chap, chaps, um, your girls, um, your ladies, your lasses, um, mandem. So it's like a term of endearment for your boys. So that is to expand your vocabulary so you're not wondering what the hell I'm talking about in this next piece. Um, but everybody has friends. Everybody has mandem, but your mandem aren't like my mandem. My mandem are badder than your mandem. Not bad as in bad you up type of mandem. Bad as in, have you seen my mandem? We're the type of man them that get gas when the sauce is too much. Is that you, man them? Rotted. I cut my finger. The trim is so sharp. Man them. Easy, no? How you are dripping us so much sauce, man them. We're the type of man them to never forget if you drop or flop. Why is it always me, Mandem? Yes, I remember the time on New Block, Mandem. Yes, I remember when Rodard speared me from behind and I was covered in mud, Mandem. Yes, I remember walking hard into a tree, Mandem. I laugh with the Mandem and the Mandem laugh at me, but the Mandem do more than laugh. We're the type of Mandem that ask. Fam, I'm worried about you. What's good, Mandem? You want to do therapy? Oh, yeah, that's sick. Man, them. Bro, that's not okay. Do better. Man, them. Nah, I proper appreciate you. Man, them. I've got love for the man, them. Where would I be without the man, them? I thank God for the man them. I need all the man them. My boys tell me the truth. They tell it to me whether I want to hear it or not. And I appreciate that. I'm a better man for all the times that they've intervened. I might not be breathing without the man them. I need all the man them. I'd be gone without the man them. And... The man them live all about the place. Jeez. <laughs> so your house keys are never really your house keys. 
the proximity of buildings cannot define my community. Concrete is too fragile. Concrete never had my back. Concrete never bought me an Xbox. Concrete never invited me over and fed me. Concrete never kicked ball. Concrete never went to the pictures with me. Concrete never took wavy pictures of me. Concrete never sat next to me on a plane. Concrete never made me banging tofu for heaters. Concrete's never seen me waved. Concrete has never told me to stop playing with a girl's emotions. <laughs> Concrete's never given me a hug when I most needed it. Concrete's never made me laugh. Concrete has never made me do that run away and come back kind of laugh. Concrete's never made me laugh till I cried. Concrete's never loved me because concrete ain't my boy. I'll choose my boys over buildings. I am from Croydon. Everywhere is far to people who ain't from here. <laughs> but distance ain't a thing to me. Um, yeah, so I'm from Croydon, South London, um, and right, so if, if you spend any time south of, it, just in London in general, and you, you engage with people, at some point there will be just unnecessary slander that is received to, to those of the Croydon persuasive, um, where where this, this sounds really deep, it's not, it's not that deep, but you know, so Croydon is zone five. Croydon's like its own little village, okay? No, that, that's wrong, I'm from Croydon. Anyways, Croydon is this place, and when you go into, so Croydon is a part of London, I'm gonna say that from now, if you wanna fight me afterwards, fight me afterwards, it's all right. It's immediate confrontation, but Croydon is, it's, Let's say it's on the edge, okay? It's on the, the edge, the boundary line. So we're often like rejected. I've been in situations where it's like South London versus North London, and then both South London and North London look at you like, but you're from Croydon. Like, <laughs> like why are you here? And it's like, like South, like I was, I was, I was backing you. Like, why, why did you turn on me? Um, this is all to say, um, that I now have like a new habit that I undertake, um, which this whole next poem is about. But at the end of last year, I finally bought a car. So I have a vehicle. Thank you, yes, yes. I learned to drive two years ago, but um, the way my bank account is set up, <laughs> it, was, it was fantastic that I learned to drive because <laughs> it ain't free. Um, but this poem is called Robin Hood Flex, kinda. Well, not really, but kinda. Because I'm so efficient with my poem titles. Oh, and um, mm, is this information that I've started now, isn't it? So it's too late. Um, I'm doing something called National Poetry Writing Month, um, which is you write a poem for a day, every day for the month of April. Um, this is a poem that I started writing for Napo Rymo, um, and it, it was serendipitous in the way that it was like, oh, it felt necessary. Also, I used the word serendipitous. <laughs> I like to park up in areas where middle-aged white women stare at me as they return home from walking their dog. Faces full of judgment and confusion, thinking, who comes to scout out a house for robbery right before the school run? <laughs> Love it. I sit, seat all the way back, 
being overtly inconspicuous so as to appear conspicuous. If I read newspapers, I'd sit with a broadsheet, but I don't, so it's novels and poetry books. I only park up in areas outside my financial lane for owning property that is currently everywhere I could possibly drive to, but you get the point. One day I want to buy multiple houses on all these streets and then do like Oprah did with the cars. You get a house and you get a house. Everybody gets a house. Here. I don't know if it would be closer to reverse gentrification or perhaps some form of minor reparations, but I want to do this in a room full of older black folk Black folk who'd be considered elderly if they were white or if black cracked. <laughs> I imagine the white women peering out the window, like out from behind their curtains as a wave of flat caps and sweet perfume across their street. I know one auntie will see her and wave and she'll scuttle back from the curtains like a koi fox in headlights. From now on, whenever white women stare at me, I'll think about my plans to co-op their street and chuckle to myself. I bet some catch themselves being a little racist whilst looking at me and think, don't be silly, Margaret. He's not here to rob us. Chuckle, chuckle, chuckle. <laughs>